was over at Santa Anita, it was not the Zenyatta. It was Speakeasy. the Speakeasy, which is ungraded. But Speedboat Beach, your track record holder at Del Mar for five and a half furlongs, takes it down, getting a 75 buyer. Only 29 less than his debut. So maybe regressed a little bit here uh, from that perspective. Uh, Aaron, what did you think of this one? I don't know. What do you think? <laughs> I, I don't know. I, I, I watched it on my phone the first <clears throat> time, and I was out doing something, and I thought, oh, that was okay. That was fine. I rewatched him. It's like I don't think he was he in the stretch. He was kind of looking around like it was he was kind of acting weird. I thought a little bit. I don't think this is a seventy five buyer. I think the buyer is low. Show me another race where they go twenty one, forty three, and one, and they finish in twelves, and the horse gets a seventy five buyer when they're two. <laughs> I'll wait. Well, that's fair. Like, I don't. <laughs> I don't know. I I didn't think he looked quite as impressive here. I, I I don't know what the I don't know what the buyer means, but I he didn't look that great here. I didn't think. I will agree with you there. I don't think he looked as good here as he did in his debut. Maybe dirt is the better surface for this. Maybe Baffert's just better training on dirt, which oh by the way, we all know is very very true. Yeah. Um, but you expected him to pick up the turf here because of the Bayern influence, who's been a pretty good turf sprinting sire. Speedboat Beach, we both thought was in this race because of where Cave Rock's going to go, which is the horse we were referring to earlier, who we both believe is going to be a very heavy favorite in the Breeders' Cup Juvenile. What do you do with Speedboat Beach now? I think you go on to the turf, right? I mean, that's kind of the plan. You want to try it. Uh, you know, he did win. I don't know if I'm going to bet him at a short price. It depends on his price, right? He should improve second on the turf. That's an angle we talk about a lot, but I guess that's where you go with them. I, I don't know. I think they probably wanted to see a little bit better performance out of it. But again, a win is a win. Who else is really pointing to that race right now that you're excited about? I, I don't have anybody right now for that one. So, I mean, he's in the mix and I think you go give it a shot. But we said it before the race and it, it kind of seems that way after the race too. It says more about, hey, Cave Rock's my Breeders' Cup juvenile horse. That's who I'm excited about. Let's try to go win another one with this horse. And then the chips will fall how they fall after the Breeders' Cup's over. Yeah, this is, this is going to be an interesting race as well. Uh, someone in the chat mentioned the Adam Rice horse. I don't, I can't find it right here. The Adam Rice horse is actually the Chad Brown horse that you really liked, that you yeah. played back and won last time. Yep. Going to be one of the favorites in this race. Um, I, I think this is pretty wide open. It'll be interesting to see who comes from overseas. Generally, this race is not won by overseas horses. But I think two years ago, there was an overseas champion, uh, international champion who won the juvenile turf sprint. Um, so we have had it happen before in these turf sprints. So we'll see what how this division specifically looks comes race day. But this, I think Speedboat Beach, you have to at least consider. I thought this was a pretty good race considering it's first time turf. And they went freaking 21 flat, 43 and one, and they came home in 55 and one. So yeah. not bad. No, I mean, I, I think I think he's a player. 